All right, let's talk about our forecast, which from the view up above is starting to improve just a little bit. Had some fog earlier this morning. Now some of that fog is dissipating and over the next hour, hour and a half, we'll get rid of the rest of the fog. We do see some of that light green on this radar this time of the day, this time of the year. That light green usually indicates some of that low level moisture. Can you see some of the showers that finally developed and moved through the area 6, 7, 8 p.m. last night? We needed it. It was so hot and so humid, so oppressive throughout the day. And a lot of us did get a little taste of showers, but certainly not enough to do much for cooling, especially not when they wait until 6, 7 o'clock to get going. We're at 75 degrees right now in Thomasville and in Tallahassee. We're at 74 in Valdosta. Going to find a tight grouping of temperatures with some clouds out there this morning. Morning lows are supposed to get back into the low 70s. Probably not going to get there everywhere. Normal highs are supposed to get just up over 90, and that's what we did yesterday. And I do think we're going to get there again today. If you're keeping track, six hundredths of an inch of rain yesterday, so not all that much. I think today, something similar inspected. Now, as far as the uh, numbers around the region go, we span from a 72 at Wilma to a 76 at Camilla. So there's that tight grouping of temperatures. And when we check the visibilities, a couple of two and three miles, Thomasville, Tallahassee, but now we're starting to see more sevens and tens with the visibilities. So it is getting a little bit better. There's some of that fog, especially around three, four, five o'clock this morning, but now it's starting to thin out a little bit from our time lapse on that tower camera. I don't see a lot of outstanding surface features. That's usually one of the cases in the middle of summertime around here, but we're also starting to remove some of that mid level moisture. And as we do that, that's one of the things that can help the showers get going more than just the afternoon sea breeze. Now I think today the sea breezes will be what really triggers most of the activity. So we'll still keep the shower chances up a little bit, but I don't think as much or for as much of the day as we've been having for the past couple. Way out across the Atlantic, got an area of disturbed weather coming off the Cape Verde Islands. Yeah, we'll keep our eyes on it, but at this point, nothing to get excited about with the tropics. Winds on the waters out of the west, 5 to 15, and the seas 1 to 3 feet. Not a bad day for the boaters. Again, it's just going to be really humid for everybody. We're going to wrap up the high tides about a quarter to 8 this morning. All right, 70s and muggy this morning, dealing with some of that patchy fog. It will go away. The sunshine will be limited today, but we won't have zero sunshine, just like we'll have showers, but not everybody gets wet. Super humid, top temperatures near 90, probably into the low 90s. The showers will fizzle. It stays muggy. Wouldn't be surprised if there's a little more patchy fog tomorrow morning. And here comes the extended forecast. We stay unsettled, and we are looking for the showers to help out with that humidity. Guys, very little change over the next few days.